Hey everyone, so today I wanted to show you what's in my gym bag and all of these things I try to keep in there at all times so I can literally just throw in a clean towel and head to the gym so I end up going more often because all the stuff is already ready and I don't have an excuse to procrastinate. The bag that I use for the gym is this really big Nike hold all and it's pink obviously because it's my gym bag and I have pink everything but it's really good it's absolutely huge it gets really heavy because I put so much stuff in it but it holds everything I use it for like overnight bags and for a weekend away and stuff like that so it's really good and the first thing that is obvious that I need for the gym are my trainers and the trainers that I have are the Nike Structure 16 ones. Um, the colour's not the best, but this was the only colour that they had available in the running shop that I bought them from. And I only wanted these because I needed some good running shoes. And good running shoes are more important than cute running shoes. So these are the um, stability shoes, basically. They're the wrong way around. But these really help keep my ankles steady when I'm running because I massively like over pronate and my ankle really tilts inwards so these are really kind of fitted and just really good quality and sturdy on the ankle so it really holds it in place and I also love Nike shoes because I have quite big feet they're quite wide and these are really roomy around like this area and the toe area so my room my, my room my feet have room to breathe and they're just really good shoes I would recommend them they're expensive but they're really worth it to me so the next thing that's always in there is my VS pink a uh, big water bottle this is just under a litre it's like 900 ml or something and it says chug life on it which is really cute this really helps me drink a lot of water during my workout because I drink like a fish when I'm sweating. I have to drink so much and this fits enough water for me to get through like a 40 minute, 45 minute workout, especially if I'm doing cardio. Um, I find the regular bottles are just too small, especially if you're in like a gym class and you can't exactly go out and refill your water, you have to stay all the way through to the end. So this is really good and it was about £12 I think from the VS Pink store. So I really like that. I also try to keep like a full outfit in my bag. So I always have my sports bra in there. This one is Nike and I really like it because I'm quite small in the chest. So this... I don't need loads of support, I don't need one of those like really heavy duty kind of shock absorber type sports bras. This is one of those like crop top ones but it's very tight so it really sucks in and <laughs> really like clings to your skin and it does give quite a lot of support. I have definitely noticed it's loosened a little bit from the time that I've been wearing it. I've had it kind of about a year now I think. And you do need to get a new sports bra every now and again because it does lose, you do lose some of the support as it kind of goes through wear and tear. But it's really good. I think they're quite expensive again, but I got this from a sports direct, so it was discounted. I think it was about £25 for this one. So again, it's expensive, but it's something that you buy and kind of invest in. So then I have some leggings in here and these are Under Armour ones. They're just plain black full length ones and these are the all season ones. These are supposed to kind of regulate your body temperature and they do. They keep you from not getting too hot but not getting cold either so it's a nice balance and the material is amazing. Such good quality and Again, like really fitted, really clings to you and I just love them. I would definitely recommend them. Um, they're around £40, I think, in the UK. Around that kind of area and there's different size, um, different cut-off points. Like I have some three-quarter length ones as well. And they also do different colours and stuff like that. So I just have the plain black ones because 
pretty much live in black. And then I just have a workout top. This is one of the ones that I hauled in my last haul, I think it was. This is from H&M and it's just a neon pink racerback tank. I'm really liking these so far. I've worn them quite a few times now. This is the one with the band at the bottom so it doesn't flap around during your workout which I really like and this is a lot more affordable than the other stuff that I've shown. Then I have my Lululemon Flyaway Tamer headband and I've only just got this recently so I'm still kind of testing it out. Um, I'll write up, I've wrote up a blog post about like my first impressions and it seems to be working quite well for me so far. I've never used a headband before but I see everyone else online using them and my hair gets really greasy between washes because I don't, I work out like five or six times a week so I'm kind of sweating and then not washing my hair and it's kind of gross so this really helps keep the sweat off my hair and yeah I'm quite liking it so far, it was about £10. I have a little mini loofah thing because I can't shower without one of these, I just don't, I don't feel as clean if I'm not like scrubbing my whole body and I have this huge, not huge but this bag holds loads of little minis basically and I like to take minis to the gym, this is from Primark by the way, I like to take my little travel minis to the gym just so it saves space but <laughs> I end up taking so many that I'm not saving that much space. So I've got the Declior mini set that I got um, on my birthday from the spa that I went to, really been loving them. And I just have loads of little minis. I have kind of decanted my shampoo and conditioner into these travel bottles because the bottles that I have in the shower are the salon size ones. I hold them as well. So I've decanted them into these two little travel bottles which is really handy and nice little tip. I also like to keep some lip balms in this little bag because I'm never without lip balm and you know if you've watched my videos that I'm pretty much a lip balm harder and the last thing that I have in here is the Coconut Passion Victoria's Secret body spray because I just like to freshen up a bit after a workout and I also have my Nivea in shower skin conditioner I talked about this in my March favourites video because I'm really liking it for the gym it's just a great way to moisturise your skin without having to put body lotion on in the changing rooms. I can just do this in the shower and I really like it. I also have a deodorant because obviously you need to put on deodorant after you've had a shower and this is the Shaw Maximum Protection one. I'm pretty snobby when it comes to deodorant now. I can only use this one because it just works so well. I have my mini Tangle Teaser this is the leopard print one, it's so cute, I love it and it's really handy because it doesn't take up a lot of space but I can detangle my hair if I've washed it at the gym. I have some headphones, I actually just got these recently and I would not recommend them, they're pretty awful really for sound quality. They're from JVC and I have JVC in ear headphones and I think I'm quite... Um, I think I just prefer those because they really do block out outside noise and these don't. The only good thing about these is these are proper sports headphones that clip over your ear and they stay in place so if you're running around or you like, sometimes I like knock the wire with my hand and my other in-ear ones just fall out. These do stay in place which is good but for me sound quality is the most important thing when it comes to headphones so these aren't that great but they were cheap and they're a good like basic item to have. I forgot to mention but along with the rest of my clothes I like to keep a good pair of socks in here. Socks are actually really important when it comes to working out because they really do prevent you getting blisters if you're wearing the right type don't wear cotton socks, you should be wearing some kind of synthetic material that wicks away sweat. These are the ones from H&M and they come in like a three pack or something for 
really cheap, under £10, so just buy some and then you always have a clean pair on hand because your feet will seriously thank you, you won't get as much blisters, especially if you're a runner. One last thing that I just found at the bottom as well is a hair tie and this one is pretty rubbish. Um, I've, act I've actually really struggled recently with hair ties because I bought some of those um, fabric-y ones that are just like a ribbon and they said they wouldn't lose their shape and they wouldn't leave marks in my hair and they don't leave marks in my hair but they do stretch out a lot and I like my ponytail to be quite tight when I'm working out because otherwise it, I just end up fiddling with it and I just can't forget about it so let me know what your favourite brands for hair ties are that actually stay snug in your hair and don't move. So that is everything that I like to keep in my gym bag and do let me know what your fitness essentials are, I'd love to know. I'm probably missing stuff out so let me know what you keep in yours as well and thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye!